Thinking about making a move to Highland, California? Well, before you do, let's do this. In this video, let's talk about some of the pros and cons of living here in Highland. Hi, my name is Jose. I'm a realtor with Remax here in the Inland Empire in Southern California. And if this is your first time to the channel, first of all, welcome. Always honored to have you here. In fact, be sure to hit the subscribe button right down over here. And then also, don't forget to hit the bell too. This way you never miss any future content where I talk about buying, selling, and of course, living here in the Inland Empire. Here in Highland, you're gonna find a number of home options for, well, every potential buyer. Highland is essentially broken up into three parts. First of all, you have West Highland, you have East Highland, and then you have North Highland. In terms of pricing differences, you're gonna find that the homes this, this is on average, but you're gonna find that the homes in East Highland tend to have the highest prices, whereas the homes in, in West Highland tend to have the lowest uh, prices. And, and again, that's, that's not 100% across the board. Those are just on average. Believe it or not, Highland has a great location. It's close to quite a bit, such as the freeways. Um, hanging out? No, I, I don't mean, you know, hanging out on the freeway. I mean, one of the beauties of Highland is just how easy it is to get to the freeway. I, I mean, the 210 freeway, it goes right down the center of the city. I mean, how many of you been to a city where the freeway, it's all the way over on one side of the city, but you live or, or maybe you're going to whatever it is that's all the way over in the other side of the city. The Indian Casino. How cool is that? You don't, you don't have to worry about driving three and a half hours to get to Las Vegas or, or heck, even an hour to get to some of the other Indian casinos when you have the Yamava Indian Casino literally right next door in San Bernardino. Big Bear Lake and Lake Arrowhead. It doesn't matter whether you're a snow skier or a water skier because you're only maybe like 45 minutes away from from enjoying the snow in the winter, or, or maybe enjoying the lakes in the summer, or really some, some really neat shopping all year round too. On average, the city of Highland really is a pretty safe city. Yeah, I mean, the crime rate here in Highland, it's actually about 21% lower than the state of California average. The summer, yeah, it, it can get pretty warm here. I mean, especially when you're talking like, like right in the heart of the summer, like late July into August. Uh, you, listen, you can and you will have some days that, that are up and over 100 degrees. The same beach weather. However, with that said though, will somebody do me a favor and point out where in the Inland Empire it doesn't get hot in the summer? I mean, fortunately winters, they, they are pretty mild. I mean, it's not too bad, but uh, yeah, that 100 degree weather, that's not uncommon pretty much anywhere you go in the Inland Empire. The commute, and, and yes, I, I know I did literally just said that you know, the freeway's right there, it's quick, it's easy to access. That's exactly what I was going to say. But you're a little over an hour away from LA. But that's everyday traffic, meaning like, like Tuesday at, at 1.30 in the afternoon type traffic, because if you work in LA and, and you have to commute to LA during rush hour traffic, I'm sorry, but it's gonna be tough. Now, fortunately, at least here locally anyway, in Highland, they are widening the freeway. Right now it's two lanes going each direction. They're widening it out to be three lanes going each direction. That's scheduled to be done in uh, summer of 2023. So hopefully once it's done, that can help Eva, uh, ease up some of the burden here locally on the freeways. Now, unfortunately, no, there's not a lot of things to do here in Highland. I mean, you know, next door you have San Bernardino. I just talked about it. They have the casino. They, they have a couple of golf courses. Uh, Fontana, I mean, they have the Auto Club Speedway. Ontario has the Toyota Arena. Riverside has a number of things, such as, for instance, Castle Park. Yeah, a number of the neighboring cities have uh, attractions similar to that. And, and, well, here in Highland, unfortunately, not so much. Fortunately, however, you know, while, yes, okay, Highland doesn't have those type of things, so no, you're not going to be able to drive you know, two minutes down the street to enjoy, you know, the Toyota Arena. But, again... And like I just said, these are all pretty much all neighboring cities. So you, you might have to drive at most, what, maybe a half hour to get to these? Do me a favor if you would, in the comments section below, let me know if you feel that, that I missed any pros or cons for the city of Highland. Is Highland a, a city for you and your family? I, I really can't answer that. That's something that only you can answer. Uh, what I will say though, if you do have any questions about the city of Highland or if, Maybe you're thinking about buying or selling a home here in Highland or 
honestly anywhere in the Inland Empire. My contact information is below. Give me a call or text. I'm always here to help. Thank you.